Hey guys, it's Lee Kalpakis, and we just made an amazing Italian dinner for just under $30. So stick around to see how we partnered with Chef Daniel Holzman from The Meatball Shop and the Project Foodie app to make the ultimate dinner party menu. Today we are joined by chef and co-founder of The Meatball Shop, Daniel Holzman. Hey dude. How are you? I'm really good, how are you? Thank you for my warm introduction. On this week's episode of $30 Dinner Party, we are partnering with The Meatball Shop. We're partnering with Project Foodie to bring you guys a baller dinner menu. The best part is that some of the dishes we're making today will be featured at The Meatball Shop's locations in New York City. That's amazing. Pretty cool. What was the inspiration behind opening up such a fantastic restaurant? When we opened The Meatball Shop, I learned that meatballs are universally appreciated all over the world. We wanted to have a restaurant that our friends and family could afford to eat at. So Daniel and I have this awesome menu planned. We're gonna do some sausage and pepper sliders on garlic bread. We're gonna do an orchetti dish with Whoa. mint, with lemon, with ricotta. I can smell it. Tell us about the crazy dessert that you're gonna make. We're making brioche, French toast, chocolate hazelnut spread, banana, French toast. That sounds incredible. If you don't live in New York City, you can still get the recipes on Project Foodie. Project Foodie is a video cookbook that happens in real time that my brother and I built so that we could teach the world how to cook. The app is brilliant. Thank you. Congratulations. So I'm super stoked to go shopping. Can we do it now? I want to go right now. Right this very second? Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> I love going to the supermarket because I can pick my own parsley. I love it too. But if you want to pick your parsley or have someone pick it for you, you can have someone pick your parsley for you on the Foodie app. Yeah. Need more of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A couple that shares focaccia together. <laughs> <laughs> Stays together. Mm-hmm. 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 All right, everybody, we are back in the Thrillist Studio Kitchen. We just finished our grocery shopping. Do you want to get started on these sausage and pepper sliders? Nothing more in my have I ever wanted to do than make a sausage, pepper, and garlic bread slider okay. with you. Let's do it. And Thrillist. Okay. And pressure food. And the meatball shop. Let's go. He's plugging. Watch out, this guy plugs. <laughs> we're gonna start with our garlic bread. So we're gonna open this up like that. Some melted butter. Uh, I've got some garlic, ajo, right? Ajo. Combine these two guys and then pour it in. So we're gonna bake this for 10 minutes at 350. While our garlic bread is in the oven, why don't we get started on the sausage we have to make? What kind of meat you got there? Ground we pork. We have ground pork. We got ground pork. Yeah. We used a higher fat percentage pork because it's gonna be moister and it's gonna have a lot more flavor. A pinch of red pepper flake. The fennel is the most important part. I've Some got garlic. garlic. Yep. I've got cracked black, black pepper. pepper. Yeah, pinch of black pepper. And we have some kosher salt. We got the salt. Red wine vinegar. You have some parsley over there. Okay. I'm gonna mix this up. Well, how big are you going? I don't know, like a meatball slider or like a little burger slider. Like a football. We want, we want them like a football, yeah. I love the fact that there's a distinct difference between your patties and mine. Yeah. I think you did a really great job. Thanks. Don't do that, it's so gross. <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hands. Do a little, like just a little, a little of olive oil. Just like a little zhuzh. A little zhuzh. Like a little. It immediately smells of sausage. The air is perfumed with sweet Italian spicy sausage. We're gonna finish cooking them in the peppers and onions, so yep. a nice sear, just cooked barely through, pink in the center, and then braised in the peppers and onions. You ready for some peppers and onions? Ready. How do you say peppers? Is there an A-H at the end or is it an E-R? Peppers. 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 Oh, pepper. Look at that, there, there's like a little brown going on. A little brown. Right? We want more brown, so yeah. we gotta like kinda let it go. Cause the, Cause the peppers are cold, the onions are cold, and it cools the pan down. Well, I can smell them caramelizing. <laughs> It's perfect. That's how you're gonna do that. Yeah. I love it. I love how you kind of make it rain. Well, you high. know, this is Hollywood, baby. Yeah, it is Hollywood. This is the basement on 26th Street. <laughs> we are far from Hollywood. Let's sausages uh, in the pan. Yes, let's, let's put our sausages back mm -hmm. into the pan. This is great. Should we go get the? Go get it. Go. Garlic bread. Yeah. Make four and four. Cuatro y cuatro. Yes. Oh my God. 
can... I don't feel like sausage and peppers is, is the type of thing that you want to not have greasy hands when you're done eating. Okay, let's close them up. Okay, let's put our hats on. Let's eat them. A light, healthy snack. Without exaggerating, I think that's one of the most delicious things that's ever graced my lips. That's absolutely delicious. Our sliders are finished. Let's get started on our pasta, okay? Yes, you want immediately. The, you want to put the pasta in the water? It's boiling. It's yeah, salted. It's boiling. It's salted. So we're going to start with butter. Yes, ma'am. We're going to start with a little guy, all right? Yeah, a little bit. All right? A wee bit. Ooh! You hear that sizzle? One clove of garlic. Yeah. Let's add some Great. chili flake. And I have some pasta water here. A little splash Perfect. now. You want to add a little bit of lemon zest to this. I will zest it up. You want the pasta in? Yep. And then what else are we putting in here? Let's do half of the lemon. Half of the lemon yeah. worth of juice. Yeah. You've got some mint over there. You want to chop some of that mint for me? I'm going to add some peas. Mm -hmm. Those are fresh from the freezer. It's a little bit under seasoned, but the Pecorino Romano is a really salty cheese. We're gonna give it a little toss. Time for our ricotta. Hey, a little rigot? Yeah. Rigot? A little rigat? Cheese on cheese. I'm going cheese on cheese, yeah. You're gonna season it up with a little bit more of that delicious, sharp pecorino. And I'm gonna just pretend like I'm just throwing them in, but I'm actually placing them with a the chef's perfection. Cracked pepper. Uh huh. I like to finish with a little drizzle of olive oil. Daniel, our pasta's done. All we have left is a dessert. Mm. Brioche. French toast, chocolate, banana sandwiches. Whew. So I do um, milk, vanilla extract, some sugar to sweeten it up, pinch of salt with every dessert. Yep. Because um, it brings out the flavor. One, two, three. Ooh. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> We're gonna heat up our pan and I'm gonna whisk this. So why don't I start whisking this guy? If you wanna slice a couple slices of bread. Sure. We're gonna. Dump our topping on just like we would make French toast. And while this is soaking, I'm gonna ask you to thinly slice one banana. An inch of butter, table, something. The French toast goes in the pan. Yeah. Bread had sugar to begin with, and then the, the eggs had a little bit of sugar. It tends to caramelize one spoonful of our chocolate hazelnut spread. And then the bananas, you wanna layer them right on there? I do. Oh my gosh. Let's flip like a sandwich. Okay, powder, sugar me. Sugar me up. I really, really want to eat that. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. so it's good. really, really good. rich. It's very good. And the banana kind of just blends into everything. That makes me angry. What makes you angry? Just the thought that that's going to go away and be done. And then we won't get to eat it anymore? And I can't eat it anymore. All of this is absolutely delicious. You are absolutely incredible. You're amazing. If you live in New York City, be sure to check out all of this fantastic food at the Meatball Shop. And if you don't live in New York City, you can check out all the recipes on Project Foodie. We should go to the Meatball Shop right now. Let's go. Here we are at the Meatball Shop. We're getting ready to present our amazing French toast dessert to the Meatball Shop patrons. Daniel, how are you feeling right now? I'm feeling like these, these people have no idea what they're in for. They're about to be astonished. At the Thrillist Studio Kitchen, we use powdered sugar because that's what we had, but today I understand you are topping this bad boy with some vanilla ice cream, right? You, you, you understand correctly. Plate it up, it looks beautiful. Daniel, are you ready to serve this to some meatball shop customers? I oh, cannot yeah. wait to serve this to some customers. Let's find out let's what go, they think. Let's go do that let's right do now. Let's make more, let's make more. I am ecstatic. I should be at work right now and I just get to pig out on this sandwich. Oh, oh yeah. And I love the mixture of just the hot with the cold right away. The fillings and the chocolate and banana totally kick it up a notch. This chocolatey, gooey spread is like the spread of the gods. Let's see if I can get a nice double-decker sandwich going. It's not going to be pretty. It tastes like the golden gates of heaven if it was like turned into an edible sandwich. French toast is super buttery. It tastes like I'm sitting by a fire. I didn't dream it would be this good. I mean, look at that, guys. Fog of hazelnut. Delicious, fluffy chocolate cloud. Little puddles of chocolate rainfall, you know? Spectacular. 
We killed this one. I had a blast working with Daniel, making incredible recipes for you guys, and I think everybody at the meatball shop loved our French toast dessert. So don't forget, if you like that recipe, you can get it live on the Project Foodie app. And now I'm gonna go eat some meatballs. See you guys. That was fun, wasn't it? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And hey, check out the recipes at thrillers.com.